Thanks for tuning in. This is the mortgage market update for the week of July 11th, 2022. Let's jump right into it with a little quick pop quiz here. All right, so which one of these loan rates has the lowest fees? Would it be A, a 4.5 interest rate with an APR of 4.5%? Or would it be B, a 4.5% rate with an APR of 4.625? Drum roll. The answer is it is a the APR and the rate are the same when the APR and the rate are the same. That indicates there are no points or no lenders fees associated with that advertised rate. And if you got that great job, let's jump right into the uh, update here. OK, so we're looking at the single family residence and condominium median sold prices for the state of California. Um, this information is uh, has not been updated for the month of June yet. That's why you see yellow arrows when I get this information from the California Association of Realtors. I will update this for you. As you can see, we were sitting at a ridiculous 898980 for the SFRs and 678000 for the condos. I expect this to go down when the new numbers come out. That's just a normal sign of the transition we're going to be going through here. Not a problem. Okay, we're looking at the Freddie Mac Primary Market Lender Survey. This shows the average rates in each category of what lenders across the country, what the participating lenders are charging for the uh, rates and points. This is for the 30 year fixed category uh, for sitting at 5.30 with 0 0.8 points. Remember, uh, this is just under one point. One point is a percent. So 1% would on say a $500,000 loan would be $5,000. So this is 5.30 with 0 0.8 points. Last week it was sitting at 5.7 with 0 0.9 points. So that did go down as you can see with the downward trend arrow. Next, uh, using this uh, right here to the JPM to track the uh, mortgage backed securities uh, activity. Uh, we're looking uh, down from last week. Uh, I'm not sure which direction this sucker is going to go in. Last week it was uh, sitting at 10.82. Now we're sitting at 10.76. So a little bit down and you know this has an inverse relationship to the uh, mortgage rates. When you see the mortgage rates going up you typically see these going down and vice versa. All right, next, the 10-year treasury. At the time it was measured last week compared to this week, it is sitting a little higher. Last week when it was measured it, on Monday, 2.793. We're sitting at 2.91. We'll see what happens. Now, again, on this one, this tracks right with the mortgage rate. So when you see this 10-year uh, treasury going up, you'll typically see the mortgage rates going up right along with the, or I should say the mortgage rate pricing to be more accurate. Okay, California uh, single family housing units. Uh, the new data have not come out yet. That's why you see the yellow arrow here. Last time we were sitting at 6,022 units. I expect this to go down also, just a sign of the new times coming in. And now the uh, mortgage rates. These are the 30 year fixed VA and conventional mortgage rates with no points and no lenders fees for United Real Estate Capital. Now I'm showing United Real Estate Capitals only because if we were to go up, uh, everybody else is going to go up. If we are going down, then everybody else is going to go down. Their 0.0, .0 lenders fees rate uh, might be higher than our 0.0, .0 lenders fees rate but uh, they're going to track together. Like say, for example, just throwing out an, uh, an example here, Quicken is sitting at say 5% with their 0.0, .0 lenders fees, 30 year fixed VA rate. Well, if I uh, go up from 4.6 to 4.7, then they will proportionally go up. Everybody usually moves together. That's why I keep tracking the United rates for you. That'll give you an idea when you're looking at everything else here. 
uh, what the overall rate market's going to do. So anyway, the VA loan here, 4.678 sitting with an APR of 4.678. And then on the conventional side of the house, 5.311 with an APR of 5.311. Now, just a quick reminder here, um, the, this is the entire rate spectrum. Uh, this is the entire rate spectrum for VA. This is the entire available rate spectrum for conventional. This is not just here. This is at every lender. Uh, out of that, I've just pulled the, I just pulled the zero points and zero lenders fees options to track, you know, because it would be too difficult to track uh, everything here, you know, on, on this graph here. All right. So um, that's the gist of it right here. Can't say whether or not what direction things are going to go in yet. You know, you can see the, the, the trend lines here going down and then sneaking up a little bit. Although I have to say, I do expect things to uh, go down as we transition to a different market. All right. Again, that was just showing the uh, zero points and zero lenders fees. If you want to pay more fees or uh, fees, um, you, you have other options. Okay. All right. So, uh, that is the, uh, weekly mortgage market update. Uh, you can go ahead and if you'd like to, uh, subscribe so you can uh, get this update every week. So you'll know which direction, uh, mortgage, uh, rates are heading in. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, uh, don't hesitate to call six days a week, or you can just uh, look in the description of the video. I'll put a link to the contact section. You can shoot over an email again, uh, subscribe. So we'd like to see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk with you soon.